And I'm joined now by Caton Dawson. He's the former head of the South Carolina GOP. Caton, thanks for joining me. And Dylan Roof, the alleged shooter, he could potentially face federal hate crimes for this attack. Do you, do you support that? What's your reaction? Well, Thomas, I think that's the next conversation to be had, but, but, but it's it more to note that every flag in South Carolina is half mast. I've never seen the reverence or sadness in our state ever on the magnitude that I see now. Uh, so most people are sad, and I think the trial phase will be a conversation soon whether the federal government's going to try it or the Ninth Circuit solicitor, Scarlett Wilson, is going to try it. Um, and I, I, I would prefer that the, Scarlett Wilson and her staff uh, render justice down there uh, where this crime was perpet perpetrated. And uh, again, the sadness, Thomas, is overwhelming in our state. And there's a lot of conversations going on from outside the state, a lot of things that are happening. But for most of us here, uh, working your way through the sadness has been a tough job. And uh, you know, mm -hmm. the flag conversation is going on. So I think that's another conversation of whether the president and Loretta Lynch, who have made numerous conversations about this publicly in the trial, and we, you and I both know how publicly this trial is going to be held. Well, and so much is going on, Kate, and as you point out, I mean, simultaneously, and, and the, the grief aspect and the respect for those lost is the, the primary one and major other conversations, the, the backdrop of all of this, the debate over the Confederate flag, uh, that is running pretty hot right now because we've got the governor calling for it to be removed from the grounds of South Carolina. We've got several state lawmakers agreeing to this, but I want to read in part to you, uh, statement from the College of Charleston President Glenn McDonnell, McConnell, excuse me, saying, quote, I support Governor Haley's call to remove the Confederate soldier's flag from state house grounds as a visible statement of courtesy and goodwill to all those who may, who may be offended by it. But, Kate, and we had a group, uh, the uh, Sons of the Confederate Veterans, speaking at a press conference today uh, in front of the flag, saying that they feel it should stay, and, and they're fighting for that. They, they, they don't see uh, any reason to take it down. Uh, how do you hope uh, that the issue is settled? Thomas, I, I'll give you the conversation that, that I'm hearing. You wouldn't, it, it's very hard to bring the House and Senate back in session the way that they're getting ready to do it for this. That speaks volumes for the leadership in both the House and the Senate to be able to bring them back and have a special session to talk about the flag and where it's going to go. So that tells me that the votes are already there. I, I get that the groups are going to show up and there's going to be pain levied on all sides. I understand that. But, but, but I would tell our, our view and audience that the pain and the symbolism and everything that's happened with especially uh, uh, Ms. Pinckney and her two daughters yesterday and the pictures we see, those visuals will stay with most of South Carolina forever. So mm -hmm. I think it'll be a conversation, Thomas. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a long conversation. So is it your assertion then that that flag will go to a museum and that's where it belongs and not in front of the state capitol? I, I think that's what's going to happen. I, I think that it's a process of time. I, there are a lot of people who don't understand the uh, way our House and Senate and government works in our Constitution. They're working as fast as I have ever seen the leadership work in my life mm -hmm. to be able to bring this to fruition. I, I would say they have the votes. I would say that there'll be conversations, uh, but it's going to be a couple of weeks before they can get back in legally from what I understand. The governor has, ha has made her statement. Uh, there was a tremendous amount of support that you saw behind her. Uh, this is a Republican Party with an Indian American governor and the only Republican African American U.S. Senator in the country. So we're a little different than a lot of people think we are, but all of us are South Carolinians, whether we're Republicans or Democrats. This sadness is going to stay with us a long time, and this mm -hmm. flag debate, I think, will be a short one, Thomas. Well, the I experience do. of uh, the Mother Emanuel 9 is certainly a shared one, not just for South Carolina, but for the entire country. Caton Dawson, former chair of the South Carolina Republican Party. Caton, nice to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Yes, sir. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.